friend, wanna brew some coffee? Let's go. If you don't have an AeroPress in your coffee bar, you are seriously missing out. The AeroPress is such a classic brewer that every coffee lover needs in their rotation. It is such a versatile brewer. You can brew it normal. You can brew it inverted. For today's method, we're going to be doing inverted. You can brew hot coffee with it, iced coffee. You can even do espresso with it. There are so many possibilities to brewing coffee when it comes to the AeroPress. It's really a jack of all trades, so you definitely need this on your brew bar. And for today's video, I'm going to give you my go-to AeroPress recipe recipe to teach you how to get the most out of your AeroPress coffee. Here's all the equipment I'm going to be using in today's AeroPress video. We got some specialty craft roasted coffee. We're going to be using the paper AeroPress filters. I like to use two of them for added clarity. Just your standard AeroPress. A digital kitchen scale. This is just a really basic one. My fellow old grinder, we're going to get it ground up on a medium setting, and my fellow Steg EKG Bluetooth kettle. This is all the equipment you're going to need. You could definitely go without the gooseneck kettle, uh, but everything else you're going to need for brewing coffee with an AeroPress. And without further ado, let's dive into the brew. First thing you'll want to do is weigh out 15 grams of beans, which doesn't sound like a lot, but the AeroPress makes a killing with smaller portions. I recommend grinding on a medium setting. I'm using a 3 on my fellow old grinder, but I like to go finer than typical. One of the great things about the AeroPress, like I mentioned earlier, is its versatility. You can use it in the traditional way where you simply place it on top of a cup and push down, or use it inverted and flip it over at the end. I personally prefer the inverted method as the grounds are immersed in the water for a longer period of time and it results in a more full-bodied coffee. I always recommend using two filters to get some extra clarity for your AeroPress brew. I like a very clean cup. You'll want to preheat and wash those alongside the top of the AeroPress brewer. Now that my AeroPress is inverted, we're ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and dump in my medium grounds, and we're going to begin the brew. We're going to pour in 35 grams of water, stir it 10 times once you reach that weight, and then let it bloom. Yes, I said bloom for 30 seconds. Super important to release CO2 gases here. Following the bloom, you're going to continue pouring your water until you hit your goal weight of 220 grams, which should honestly fill up your AeroPress right to the top. Once you're at 220 grams, stir another 10 times, place the cap on the AeroPress on top, and gently press down to release extra air in the chamber. Now you simply wait for 1 minute and 10 seconds so the coffee can do its thing and brew. After waiting 1 minute and 10 seconds for the coffee to brew, it's time to flip the AeroPress on top of your cup, I'm using a mason jar because drinking coffee out of a mason jar is just better, and begin your press. The AeroPress is unique in that it combines the best of immersion or press coffee and also drip coffee. It's really the best of both worlds, and because of that, there are a ton of different recipes and you get truly unique flavor profiles. The more power you use in your press, the more even your extraction is going to be, so I recommend going right through the hiss, make sure your press lasts for right around 30 seconds. And just like that, you brewed an amazing cup of coffee using the AeroPress Brewer. I love the AeroPress. It definitely deserves a spot on your coffee bar. It's one of the easiest, quickest ways to brew amazing coffee at home. And like I mentioned, it is so versatile. From e everything from iced coffee to hot coffee to espresso, you name it, the AeroPress can get you covered. I hope you guys enjoyed my inverted AeroPress tutorial and maybe you can try it out at home and make an amazing cup of coffee for yourselves with the AeroPress. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and then hit that subscribe button to join our coffee community community, posting tutorials, tips, and tricks all the time for you guys to start drinking better coffee at home. My name's Caitlin, I'm a specialty coffee roaster, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Remember, drink better coffee.